Hi, I'm Sophia Mason. I'm a freshman at Omaha Central. Old school! This is called My Dear Friend. The sun melted into pools of orange gold as I stood outside, lost in the cold, breathing in the still winter air. I heard footsteps crunching on the frosty ground. Turning around, I expected to see my dog, but no, there was a deer? The deer was small, young, innocent, approaching me carefully, sincerely, staring straight at me with soft, dark eyes, deep, dark eyes that looked as if they hid all the secrets of the wilderness. Slowly, I reached out my hand. To my surprise, the deer did not run. I felt the soft, short fur atop the beast's head. And suddenly, I was young and believed in magic again. It started me to nuzzle me and lick my hand like a sign of approval. It. I don't want to call the deer an it. It is what we call animals that live separate from our world. It is what we call the unfamiliar. It is what we call the unfeeling. I believe this deer to be a she, with no sign of antlers atop her smooth head. In the short few minutes we knew each other, I felt the deer, and the deer felt me. There seemed to be a hidden cloud of stillness and innocence. Then I thought, maybe this deer could understand me. I signaled, clapping my knees and whispering softly but excitedly, come here, deer, come here. And deer, oh dear, she followed me. How tempted I was to, leave, to bring my new friend inside. Mom, mom, look at this deer. She followed me in here. It was like the great test of truth to prove that I could speak to the force like I always believed I would when I was little. But that was after the time when I matured enough to stop banging at the windows whenever I saw an animal. I was still a wild sort of child, but I learned to grow a quiet respect for nature over time. Instead of thrusting my fists into the clear walls separating the boundary of humans and nature, I stood observing, wondering how close I could get to those deer before they ran away. I wanted to see what they were like up close. They would find their way into my dreams and prance around with me in the forest. But only in dreams, because in this world, I was only a human, and they were deer. I was dangerous, and the deer were afraid. Until that one calm winter evening, just as I had thought I had grown out of the, those detached, seemingly impossible childish fantasies. It had only taken 10 years, and no, I never got to keep her. Fear returned when she saw my dog, jealous and filled with wild instinct. Immediately, her ears perking up, dashing back to the cover of trees. But the deer never left me, the human, the most destructive being on this planet. I only knew her for a few short minutes. But I can now say my childhood dream was fulfilled. Thank you, dear.